So finally we made it. We're going to a mooring ball. We waited for a working day to the arena. This was only the second time since we had the boat that we were gonna tie it to a mooring buoy, so I wasn't very skilled yet and I had to try several times to pick up the buoy. We were happy to finally be in the beautiful blue Bonarian waters with our boat. We are all packed and ready for something exciting because today is our first scuba diving lesson. Yoohoo! Yay! Last week we passed the theoretical exam and now it's time for the real action. <laughs> Very exciting. Yes, it is. <laughs> Come on, let's go! Sven and I decided to take scuba diving lessons and get our paddy license. There is no better place to do this than in Bonaire which is known to be a diver's paradise. And we were lucky to discover that our boat neighbors on Cruise Nautic were diving instructors willing to give us private lessons. Coco. Hi. We are on the cruise nautic and yeah, here's all the diving gear from our lessons. They will teach us how to dive. First lesson, assemble the gear. No, just so like pull it down so it's kind of the right length to to connect it. I usually connect it first and then pop it in there. Those have to go so <laughs> oh, those. <laughs> Okay, hey, we're off. We've got all the gear. See you later. <laughs> Bye. Hi, oh, I'm very excited. Can you see my eyes? I'm scared. You are. I'm not yet. <laughs> Kate had found a nice beach where we could easily access the water and practice the first skills in the undeep water. I was pretty nervous to learn how to dive, but Kate's calm and professional approach made me feel at ease, so everything went well and I gained a lot of confidence.
We're signing up for the first regatta in our life, so it's the Bonnet Regatta. It will have next week for our um, vessel and we'll, we'll see. Yeah, it will be fun, I hope. It was a perfect day for a sailing trip in the beautiful and calm bay of Bonaire and around the island of Klein Bonaire. We invited Danny and Femke to come along. We met this young Dutch couple during our first week here when they gave Sven a lift to the supermarket. Hi Tina. Hi. You ready for your second dive today? I guess so. <laughs> it's a little bit cloudy, that's good. Because we don't want sun shining all the time on us learning. I'm in the I'm going to the captain's meeting today to the regatta. And uh, here's the schedule of the race. So we will be in C. C will be sailing yards, course C. We're going to do one round around the island of Klein Bonaire. And um, today is Thursday, we're going at eleven. So that will be our first regatta and I'm very happy and to share it with you. <laughs> Yay! The regatta starts with the smallest boats, followed by the optimists and sunfishes and then the sailing and cruising yachts. This was such an exciting experience. We had never tried racing with our boat before. Of course, it was just for fun. We mainly participated to support a local community. The regatta is an important yearly event in Bonaire that usually attracts a lot of contestants. Because of the COVID pandemic, the contestants coming from other countries couldn't make it to Bonaire, so the regatta was open to everyone, including the cruising yachts. We hoisted the sails and made sure we were ready for the start signal. Our goal was to get as close to the start as possible without crossing the line too soon. We are ready for the regatta the Bonaire annual regatta and we are now waiting for the five minute warning sign and then it's only five minutes left for the start sign so now we're just sailing up and down here where the start line is i'm waiting so there is a there are the buoys the yellow buoys Okay, the start sign has been given. Woo, we're going to the start line. Oh, really? My heart goes like, look. <laughs> yeah, it's quite exciting. Only three boats. Yes, we're only three today. Maybe we have some more tomorrow. Sailing along this parkour turned out to be tricky at some points because of the wind shifting in different directions. But we did pretty well.
It was relaxing and easy most of the time. Until the last part, where we couldn't sail at a sharp angle upwind in the direction of the buoy like the monohulls can, so we lost time having to tack further. We made it across the finish. We did it in three hours <laughs> and some minutes. And we're oh. second <laughs> of only three, but still. <laughs> Let me see. We did a oh, trip today, an average of five knots and 70 nautical miles, 17 nautical miles. On the second day, Danny came along to keep us some company and as an extra helping hand. There were more boats at the start, but all monohulls so hard to compete with for us. We made very good progress during the first part. When the wind angle is in our favor, we go faster, but just like on the first day, we lost time having to take further than the monohulls. Day 3 was on a Saturday, so there were more contestants. Danny and Femke were there to accompany us, and our friends and fellow sailors Sam, Jane and their dog Poco also joined in on the fun. With all this expertise on board and our experience from the previous day, we managed to get off to a flying start. We stayed in the lead for most of the race, which caused a lot of excitement and fun on board. We finally lost a few places by the end in the narrow upwind part but we had an amazing day. Thanks for the fun, guys. The kids were in for some more excitement that day, so they decided to learn how to dive from the boat, which took a lot of practice and some failed attempts. Hey. 
First place, we have Noma. With the crew, come up, crew. Where's the crew? We have the next generation crew. Congratulations. We want to thank the organization for this opportunity. Thanks for the experience, the fun, and the trophy, of course. We came in first in the multi-hull category. Join us again next week when we take our first real dive and we'll discover the island by car. If you are enjoying our videos, you can show us your appreciation by buying us a drink through the link in the description. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like our video and leave a comment.